What is going on ladies and gentlemen of the tribe and welcome back to another Galaxy of Heroes video with your bald headed boy Scribble. Here's a pro tip, perhaps don't go out drinking on a Thursday evening. <sighs> Let's get galactically challenged. Welcome to Geonosis, we're facing off against a bunch of scoundrels. That's right, Boba Fett is leading an older version of himself, Aura Singh, and for some strange reason, L3 and Mando. We have got bonuses for our Old Republic, and the Old Republic bonuses are actually really flippin' good. It's a breeze, don't worry about it. The global modifier is Geonosis Arena. Whenever a unit uses a special ability, they're gaining a stack of entertainment. Are you not entertained? which can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented. Entertainment gives us stacking max health, offense, potency. It's rather wonderful. There is no limit. There are no limits. The enemy has got hedged bets. Whenever a scoundrel ally deals damage to their target enemy for each buff that enemy has, they're gaining that buff for three turns, except for taunt. That doesn't happen. Then they dispel all buffs on the enemy. That's really annoying, truth be told. What are the feats, then? The feats are thus. We need to win with a full team of Old Republic. We need to win with no tanks. And we need to win after using no more than three special abilities. Now, you can probably get this done in one battle, but I always find it easier to break these up into chunks. So we're going to get the majority of them done with Old Republic, and then I'm going to do no specials with other teams. Let's do this. Starting off with the Old Republic then, we are taking in Jedi Knight Revan with Basti, Jolie, Candorous Ordo. He is the cream of the crop, the number one unit that you do want. And then whatever Old Republic you got left, I'm using Mission. She's gear 11, 12, something like that. Doesn't matter. I'm going to start off with an AoE and then I'm going to try and stun L3, getting rid of her taunt. The idea with Candorous is basic somebody that has got protection. That means he's going to triple tap and he's basically going to gener generate infinite turn meter. Infinite turn meter. It's rather wonderful. Look at all that turn meter gain from our good man Candrus. It's rather beautiful. If you can kill L3, I actually highly, highly recommend it. Because when L3's gone, they remove an ability to constantly counterattack you and do annoying stuff. So yeah, she's gone. Now you just want to go around. I'd, I'd recommend not using direct focus from Jedi Knight Revan, just so that you can pass around these attacks to hit someone who has got protection. If Kandrasa targets someone with protection on his basic, he triple taps. Otherwise, it's just a double tap. When you no longer have an enemy that has got protection, I would just recommend hitting anybody to try and spread those dots. Look at those dots. 15, 17, 7. Try to get as many dots and as many people as possible. The real big threat here is actually Dad Bod Boba. The amount of damage that he does is, quite frankly, out of this world. He will one-tap people, so you do want to get rid of him as soon as possible. Now, unfortunately, the enemy does have a bunch of Bounty Hunters Resolve, which means they're going to revive. Three of them have got that rather irritating revive. I do use Direct Focus here, I think, because I just want to get rid of Dad Bod Boba. And at this point, I'm relatively comfortable that the enemy is not going to be able to win. Whenever you get the opportunity, I would recommend throwing those buffs on Candrus to get him to do more damage. And yeah, calling him into assist means he's attacking, gaining a bunch of turn meter, and making our lives nice and easy. Look at this damage. Oh yes, we're doing true damage to the enemy all the time. It's rather juicy. So I just want to get rid of Boba Fett, sign a Django here. OG Mando lost his first life and then missed against Mission. That's, you know, quite funny in my opinion. <laughs> It's like that one opportunity he had to attack and he missed. I was like, ah, good job, Manda. Good job. I'm glad you were here, buddy. Uh, and then it's just plain sailing all the way through. Basics are your friend with Kendrus. He generates so much turn meter and puts out so many dots that people just die of sadness. Oh, it's a great time to be alive, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? And we're just going to call in Kendrus Auto. Boop, boop, and basic and mando is done and that will get you no tanks full old republic it will not get you the um uh the only use three specials but that's okay for using only three specials i highly recommend people go in with a cls team straight up standard cls does it and you can basically go in and hit auto well, auto basic. I mean, let's be real. We need. To, you can use three specials. You can use three specials. You just don't need them. You just don't need them. I started off. I was thinking, oh, where should I use these specials? And then I thought, you know what? CLS seems to be destroying face. Let's just put on auto basic. Sit back, have a cup of tea. And that is precisely what I did. Or I should say, tea. It's actually coffee. Ha! <laughs> Marvelous. <sighs> yep. Turns out, exposes do really good damage. 
when the enemy has got massively inflated stats, in particular health. And when you've got a bunch of counterattacks and exposes. See, look, we nearly lose CLS here. And honestly, I could have saved him. I mean, yeah, could have saved him from the not death that he had there. But it's really easy. Now, if you want to use a GL, you can do that, of course. There's our no, no more than three special abilities. We didn't use more than one special ability. We didn't even use one. We're so good. GL teams obviously do work. I decided, you know what, I'll try Slacker. So I threw Slacker in. I just did a bunch of basics. And the aim of the game here was to build up to ultimate, use the ultimate and two specials. And I think using the ultimate counts as a special ability. Not sure. Couldn't test it. You guys find out for yourselves. But basically, just basic until you've got three bars of ultimate. Go into ultimate, do one basic, two swipes and, and win. You'll lose all the other units, but you, you win. And I think that is the aim of the game. It's not like we earn banners in Galactic Challenges. It's not like this Galactic Challenge needs us to uh, actually um, win with no losses or anything like that. We're also not taking in a tank in this team. You obviously can, but uh, we're currently not taking in a tank. So you'd also qualify for that feat as well. You would also qualify for it with the CLS team. And I would argue that the CLS team is easier, better, quicker, and brainless. -less -less. That's a word. So anyway, here he goes. Big old jump. The other benefit of uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, of course, is that when he kills people, they can't revive. So he says a poo poo to the bounty hunter's resolve. Turns out their resolve was not as strong as they thought it was, and it's game over for them. So the reason I recommend waiting as long as possible to, uh, to use those swipes is that obviously he siphons mastery based on his siphon stacks. And if you use it at the start, you're not going to have any stacks of siphon, which means you're not going to take any stats. So you might as well wait for your basic to at least start lifting up a couple of those units. Now you could, of course, use one of the pokes to increase that, but that's one of your specials and everybody's a bit upset by it. It's not like it takes a lot of brain power. Alternatively, another really easy one to use is Galactic Legend Leia. Now I'm using Drogon with Han and Chewie here, but again, I still think you're better off just using CLS. I just want this for people who can see what can be done. All I'm going to use is one special from Drogon to place that keen stratagem over on Leia, and I think I just get bored and hit auto basic. Sometimes on a Friday, when you've got a slight hangover, this is the best thing that you can do. Auto basic and win. Ha! <laughs> Thank you, CG, for making an easy galactic challenge for me. Even if it means the wonderful tribe at home will not be looking to my video for guidance because they'll already know how to get it done. <sighs> but at least you could like the video, guys. I mean, that would, that would really cheer me up and you know, maybe I can go out and get myself a breakfast roll. Something with some, I don't know, bacon, egg, sausage. That sounds delicious right about now. In today's Thoughts by Scribble, we get to discuss the best foods to have whilst having a hangover. We seem to have lost Han. I'm not sure where he went, but I don't think it particularly matters because Auto Basic seems to be doing the trick. Mando over there does have a disintegrate available because they have hit contract, but turns, those are things he's not allowed. He's far too stunned and stunning. Wonderful. And that's going to about do it for today's version of Galactically Challenged with a slightly hungover scribble. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will give a large salute to my wonderful, wonderful patrons. Thank you for your continued support and helping me in these dark days. Until the very next video, peace out and may the force be with you.